Pulse News on the Go, brought to you by Bell Aqua Mineral Water, proudly Ghanaian. The national organizer of the governing NDC, Kofi Adams, has charged the Institute of Economic Affairs to work on building a positive image for itself before the party will consider a one-on-one -on -one debate between its flag bearer, President John Mahama, and main opposition leader, Nana Akufuado. According to Mr. Adams, the think tank has over the years allowed themselves to be used in making derogatory remarks against the NDC. The IEA announced the debate in Accra yesterday, but Kofi Adams says the NDC is yet to be informed of any debate. Ghanaian cybersecurity expert and founder of e-crime bureau Albert Enchibosiako has said it would be fundamentally wrong for the National Communications Authority to ban over-the-top calls through social media apps. According to him, such a move will contravene the key principles of the internet, which requires accessibility, sanity and freedom to use the internet. His call comes on the wake of pleas from MTN and other telecommunication companies for a ban on over-the-top calls through social media apps. Tema Shipyard, the biggest ships and vessels repairs company in West Africa, is near collapse if adequate steps are not taken to salvage it. The workers have blamed the condition on years of mismanagement and more recently, delays of the transport ministry to secure a new investor for the company. Speaking to the press this week, Chairman of the Senior Staff Union of PSC Tema Shipyard Limited, Fusheni Shahamuddin, debunked assertions by some disgruntled workers that the shipyard has been turned into a graveyard, calling for the dismissal of the MD Ali Tunde. Some workers of the electricity company of Ghana have cast doubts over their job security as the process to choose a concessionaire continues. Some private businesses have already tendered in a bid for a public-private partnership deal with the electricity company of Ghana. President John Mahama at the recent May Day celebration assured the workers their jobs remain secured, adding that the power distribution company will not be privatized, but several of the ECG workers say they are unsure of their fate at the company. Pulse News on the Go, brought to you by Bell Aquamino Water, proudly Ghanaian.